But if you would like to hear any lore whatsoever, make sure you join the new Discord. There is a link in the description below. This week's lore I picked, but normally I ask a question in the Discord, and the first person to get the question right picks the lore for the week. But this week, I picked Habology. Now... Habologists are a religious sect or a cult that are headquarter that their headquarters is in San Francisco, the pre-war city of San Francisco that would later be taken over by the Shi. And sometime later they will be a nuka world, but we will talk more about that shortly. Now, it's a cult started pre-war by a science fiction author, Dick Hubble. By trade, Dick Hubble is a science fiction author, and his followers follow his teachings known as Habology. Dick Hubble is also referred to as just the hub. <laughs> like, that's it, just the hub. So they believe that existence is a great wheel, right? Like, imagine like a giant, a giant like wagon wheel. And in the, in the center of it is the hub where Dick Hubble is. And all of the non-believers are what is, are, are in what is called the rim. <laughs> And that's what they believe. I'm going to get more. I'm actually reading their beliefs directly off the wiki for this one because I wanted to make sure I got it 100% right. Everything else is my notes and a couple other things I'm going to bop back and forth to the website. But I get all of my lore off of fallout.fandom.com. At some point, all hubologists will be called to the heavens to live with the Star Fathers on the planet of Quetzal. Q-U-E-T-Z-E-L. Quetzal. Like a pretzel, but a quest for the stars. They will get there, and I shit you not, with the ESS Quetzal, which is a pre-war space shuttle that is nuclear power that is nuclear powered. And that's how they plan to get to this planet. There are many different levels of this religion, this cult. None of which is taken from any sort of real life allegory, any or I'm sorry, real life analog. None whatsoever, but we'll get into that a little later. They believe that you can, that people have inside of them this thing called neurodynes and you can purify them. And that makes you closer to the teachings of apology. And the way you do this, the way you can achieve these greater levels of spirituality is by paying them. You give them money and then they say, mm, yes, thank you. Your, 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 uh, neurodynes have been sorted and cleaned. The standard thing for you to get into Hubology, to become a Hubologist, is to donate all of your worthy possessions to the church as a show of good faith. Because nothing says, I believe in what you're doing, then here's all my shit. Oh, shit. Can you hear me? I just totally biffed that. <laughs> my, my little sampler just went flying. By donating large sums of money... You can up your AH, AHS level. By 2241, they have some influence in San Francisco. Some, not a lot, but they have some. And they also have one outpost in NCR territory. So it's kind of like their HQ, a couple guys, they kind of exist within Xi territory, kind of exist within the Xi territory. I'll get into this later, but a lot of the Xi and a lot of the Habology doesn't mix. And they have the one guy, there's a fella, I believe I have it in my notes, but there's one fella at an outpost in NCR territory who just goes by the Enlightened One. By 2287, there's a small group of hubologists, hub one of them uh, being a direct descendant of Dick Hubble, who is in Nuka World. And they're trying to use a defunct... <laughs> carnival ride like 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 an attraction of a ufo as a way to get to the planet quetzal the planet quetzal far far from these stars now for the beliefs and again this is a part that i want to read directly off the wiki hubology is not based on anything else there is no allegory there is no analog there is no this is this is not based on anything in the real world okay there is not a giant building somewhere in California with something that sounds kind of like Hubology and is a certain color that represents something and is based off of the writings of a science fiction writer. None of this is based off anything real. I promise you. So this is for a, a quote from Phil Roller. Who you can meet in Nuka World. 
He says, the spirits of the dead are constantly trying to influence us. They reach into our brain and alter our chemistry to create neurodynes. Zeta radiation destroys some and drives the spirits away, but only for a short time. The rest of the paragraph, and like I said, I want to make sure I get this completely right. That's why I'm reading off of fallout.fandom.com. Hobology as a religion promotes the idea that humans are plagued by the spirits of the dead causing neurodynes to form. Neurodynes can, can be formed through contact with so-called suppressors, people that suppress one's talents and abilities. The neurodyne-infested brainwaves can trigger neurodyne activity in others, causing a cleansing process offered at hobology centers called alignment. Members can remove these negative influences and gain greater powers. This is done using zeta radiation to destroy, to destroy some of the neurodynes. Multiple alignments are therefore required. Each one destroys more neurodynes. The degree to which a member has devoted his or her time, effort, and caps to hobology accords him or her a numerical rank. The hobologist leader, A. HS9 holds the highest rank as any living hobologist with a second in command being a AHS7. Guards are typically AHS4 in the group of hobologists near Nuka World. Dara Hubble herself is also known as an AHS9 and the sole survivor could potentially become an AHS-8 if they're willing to spend the caps. Phil Roller, the man whose quote I read earlier, is a 7. Again, a quote from Phil Roller, The tools are man-made, but the process is a gift from the Star Father through his prophet, the Hub. Hubologists believe that their founder, Dick Hubble, or the Hub, made contact with the Star Fathers long ago. The Star Father lives on the distant planet of Quetzal in a constellation of Xiphus. Through him, the Hobologists have received the knowledge of enlightenment. The Star Father is a source of life on Earth, and the Hobologists believed that they are all his descendants, but that they have lost their way, led astray by neurodynes. The Hub's grand plan, however, will save them. The Hub convinced the Great Star Father the hub, again, not the hub as like the location, the settlement. The hub is Dick Hubble. He goes by the hub. I wanted to make sure I made that apparent. The hub convinced the great star fathers to let the true faithful live with him on Questel, where they are forever saved from neurodynes. The star fathers will free the full potential of their minds and they will be able to do unimaginable things. Then they will return to earth to rule over mankind and end the influence of neurodynes once and for all and guide the rest of mankind to its full potential. Hubology uses the metaphor as a wheel in the sky to explain the existence with Dick Hubble representing the center of the wheel. The hubologist are extending spokes and non-members are the outer rim crushed by the truth of their teachings. The existence of extraterrestrial life plays a role in hobology, and as part of this, the hobologists in San Francisco are trying to repair a pre-war space shuttle to leave the planet, and the hobologists in Nuka World are trying to repair a UFO, which is actually a decommissioned park ride, like I said a little bit earlier. Hobology holds... That eons ago, we all lived peacefully in harmony with one another. Body, mind, and spirit were, were joined in all creatures, and the technology that existed boggled the imaginations. It was a time of peace, creativity, and alignment. And, in, and then the dark days came. Thark, Tharkzog, the pothole, <laughs> began to teach mind body began to teach mind-body delusions. And the sundering of the spirit and war arose. The Great War destroyed the souls and bodies and scattered the, their remnants across the universe. The Great Wheel came the Great Wheel came close to separating from the axle of existence. Its spokes broke in the rut that Tharkazog <laughs> had created. A new life and had arise. A new life had to arise, and arise it did, on the planet Terra, or Earth as the other planets across the universe. This planet was polluted by the soul pieces of the dead. 
This led to hate and misunderstanding, and war raged across Terra's surface, until one day a visionary realized that the only way to create peace, understanding, and enlightenment was to cleanse these soul pieces from this spirit's humanity. That visionary was the hub. Hubology teaches that life exists on the Great Wheel of Life, also simply just called the Great Wheel. <laughs> Dick the Hub Hubble rest in the center of the hub. Followers of Hubology are positioned on the spokes, and those who do not follow his teaching are on the rim. Hubologists call these individuals Rim Meat. That's a great name. For the wheel turns over them and grinds them, and they do not appreciate its workings. The existence of extraterrestrial life plays a role in Hubology, and as a part of the Hubologists in San Francisco are trying to repair their space shuttle, the ESS Quartzel. The ultimate goal of this mission is to achieve effective godhood through essential means of restraints placed on the mine and then return to Earth to rule over all of mankind and any scourge that is the Neurodynes. The human race will only be able to achieve such goals under the guidance of Hubology. Central to the philosophy of Hubology are Neurodynes and physical centers in the body called chakras in some other religions. The Hubologists hold that they are polluted by the spiritual remnants of the people who died in the war. Their psi energies imprinting into the Neurodynes at birth and holding the denizens of the wasteland in an opposite state. Holding the denizens of the wasteland in an oppressive state. Alignment. A controlled emission of zeta radiation into the subject's brain erases the imprints freeing up the spiritual potential. People who remain in an uncleansed state are frequently so full of negative energy and polluted soul pieces that they drag down those who seek enlightenment. Oppressors should thus be avoided and shunned through a cleansing process offered at hubology centers called alignment. Zeta scans remove these negative influences from the members. This is how they gain the title of Aligned Hub Seeker. Or AHS. The ultimate goal is for the aforementioned people to join Quartzel, knowing as the, known as the uplifting. When the Star Father calls all Hubologists home, they will meet their extraterrestrial brethren and move closer to the hub of the Great Wheel. Those who have made an effort to understand and embrace the words of the hub, no matter their AHS levels, will be invited to join the Star Father on planet Quartzel. Now, I wanted to make sure I got that verbatim. I wanted to make sure I did it the justice and told you exactly what it is. Although notorious in San Francisco, they are not very known outside of that territory. Uh, they do have the enlightened one in the NCR territory. If their if their beliefs are questioned whatsoever, they don't want anybody to say, "Hey, maybe this is wrong. Have you thought of it like this? Try this way." They will attack. It's on site. They'll threaten, but they'll attack. Since the she make up such a vast majority of San Francisco, they don't like <laughs> they don't like hobologists because it's all based in pseudoscience and the she being some of the smartest people in the entirety of the wasteland, east, west, north, south, the other side of the globe, all of it. The smartest people right here in San Fran. Their the the hobologist HQ is like not far from the Golden Gate Bridge. They don't like them. And even the uh, the she have accused hobologists of taking she people and brainwashing them and having them taken over. It's a huge uh, political point that nobody gets along. Nobody likes each other. It is just it's it's a it's terrorism. <laughs> They're terrorists. Like I have no other way to put it. You say I don't like your god, and then they shoot you in the mouth. So their hierarchy is explained a little more in Fallout 4's DLC Nuka World, where you see a little more of them outside of Fallout 2. In New Vegas, there's, as far as I know, no mention of them. Uh, I don't remember seeing that on the wiki. Let me check quick. No, it's just uh, Nuka World and Fallout 2. Um, there's, there's ranks, because of course there is. Now, I'll go a little more into how much money you have to spend to hit these levels, but there's eight levels that are obtainable until you become a leader like Dara or uh, Dick the Hubble. Sorry, Dick the Hub Hubble. So at number nine, we're going to start at the very, very bottom and work our way up. Or very, very bottom, go to the top, work our way down. Number nine is Dara and Dick Hubble. They're leaders of sect of Hubology. Then there's AHS-1 
It is 50 caps. I'm not going to bring into the speech requirements just because if you're just a lowly moron in the ways who can't read, 50 caps gets you in. 100 caps gets you to level 2. 250 caps gets you to level 3. 4. Level 4 is 500 caps. Level 5 is 1,000. Level 6 is 2,500. Level 7 is 5,000 caps. And if you want level 8, the highest you can go, it is 10,000 caps. Now, each one you get more and more rads. It's 50. By the end of it, you're missing almost half of your health bar. (sighs) Again, this is not based off of anything in real life. It's not. Stop saying it is. Because it amn't. And I'm offended that you keep saying it. This is a religion, gosh damn it. You know, much like something that this isn't based off of, this isn't based off, like, imagine if this was based off of some sort of religion or cult or what have you. You think they would have celebrities publicly endorsing it, trying to get people into it? Of course they wouldn't. This is the real world. This isn't a Fallout videos, James. In New Reno, there are two porn stars by the name of Juan Cruz and Vicky Goldman. Both, like I said... Uh, porn stars. I like that I see on Instagram when they make those funny little videos. They say corn and then a star. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it do. They speak very highly of the cult and are Habologists and try to use their celebrity to get other people to join Habology and read the teachings, the works, the writings of Dick the Hub Hubble. They believe that any real science is a problem and that the only person that you should ever listen to is anyone who is a level, is an AHS level 9. Again, I'm going back off the wiki because there was something that I wasn't quite sure when I was reading it. Despite these statements about science, they, they, the Habalich have a Dr. Crockett at their disposal who uses his natural affinity for technology to install a nuclear reactor on board of the ESS Quetzal as well as develop techniques to harden power armor. They have a computer network known as Hublink, which is used... Wow. Which is... (laughs) I've read that before, and like reading that again, I'm just like, this is wild. Uh, Which is used to document AHS-9's goal for the cult, the cult's outrageous finances and scientific calculations, and to get them closer to the Star Father. Now, the interaction you can have with them in Fallout 2 is in addition to their main base, they also have the NCR outpost. The Chosen One can visit either and receive enlightenment for a possible luck and or intelligence bonus. It's fun. Joining the Hubologist afterward is not a requirement. It is possible to receive a penalty instead, so saving before, before, beforehand is advised. Despite the Hubologist's fervent beliefs, the player character can find evidence that the cult was first started as a hoax to get money. In San Francisco, the Chosen One has an option of adding Hubologists to their mad schemes of eliminating them as part of a she-mission. Fun. Again, not based on anything real. The Hobologists can be encountered again in Nuka World, where they have set up a Hobologist camp. They desire to repair a broken UFO, like I said earlier, a defunct attraction from Nuka World. It's actually in the junkyard, if I remember correctly. And they need the aid of the Soul Survivor for this. Through alignments for which increasing amounts of caps must be paid, the Soul Survivor can get, a, can get a, aligned to the maximum rank of A-H-S-8. Each alignment destroys the so-called neurodines for the use of zeta radiation, like I said prior. And by the end of it, you're missing more than half of your health bar. They're a wacky bunch of fiends. There's no fun notes on here. There's nothing. Like I said, it's not based on anything. But this has been one I've wanted to do for a while. I believe in an earlier episode, I said the Habala just came out of the hub. Boy, was I wrong. It never surprises me how much I've learned about this series from doing this show. I mean, I've also learned a lot about like editing and like life and love and liberty and the pursuit of happiness and all that whack jazz. But here we are. We're here. We're queer, I guess. I don't know. I don't know who the f*** is anything anymore. Dick, Hub, Hubble wrote hundreds of books, some of his most influential being, Scientific Spirituality.
Battle Ground Quetzal, Sir Father Above, Collected Shopping Lists, Notes and Musings, How to Sue Your Enemies Effectively, How to Create a Cult, Future Books to Be Written When I'm Dead. But that is Hubology, my friends. That is the lore for episode 200. Thank you.